How's it going, everybody? Chris Card's back through the mail. Monday, five returns for you today, including our first one from Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida. Hope everyone out there had a great weekend. And it looks like we've got Mr. McDowell. There is my letter of request. Short and sweet because Mr. McDowell charges $5 a card. No big deal. I needed to get this card signed. 71 tops card signed. Strikeout leaders, Sam McDowell led the league that year. Mickey Lolich and Bob Johnson followed behind him. Have to send us off to Mickey Lolich next to uh, finish this card off. $20 for Mickey Lolich. It's a little expensive, but uh, to finish this card off, that'd be pretty sweet. Bob Johnson on here as well. 15 years in the bigs, 11 with the Indians, six-time All-Star, five-time American League strikeout leader. Of course, if you did not know, the character of Sam Malone, off of Cheers, played by Ted Danson, is loosely based off the life of Sam McDowell. He was a raging alcoholic for... Most of his career and after his career ended up losing his wife and two kids and moving back home with Ma and Pa in the family homestead in Pittsburgh. Ended up turning his life around, went to the University of Pittsburgh, got a degree in sports psychology and addiction. It's kind of a weird course of study at university, but what, whatever. He went on to uh, work for a few teams, including the 93 Blue Jays, earned him a World Series ring. Nice to have a reclamation story like that for Mr. Sam McDowell. Awesome pitcher back in the day. Let's move on to our second return of the day. No idea, guys, who this is from. No markings from the post office. That poor little otter stamp. Not even canceled. Who would want to cancel an otter anyway? They are adorable. River otters regular ocean otters we got mike kingery mike kingery there on a 91 tops card with a john 316 john 316 inscription on that one and on that one looks like probably on all these he must love that verse that card's a little smudged up i think that's the base that is the base card the traded set card the card on the left looks great but that's a little bit smudged for the set but that's all right there you guys go, Mike Kingery, 10-year career, six different teams. 1994, he was leading the league with a 349 batting average, and of course the strike happened, so both Mike Kingery and the Expos got screwed that year. Expos, of course, were leading the division. He is the patriarch and the husband of Chris Kingery, and of course there are eight children, and they have a gospel group called the Kingery Family Singers. I think the Kingery Family, you can actually go online to their website and buy their CDs and uh, they, they sing this kind of music. Here's a picture of them. Look at all of them. They also are joined by three son-in-laws and nine grandchildren at this point. So pretty crazy. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a hell of a band right there. How, how do you split the appearance fee between all those people? That's got to be tough. All right, guys. Next return. Number three. Let's do it. All right, gang. Our next return is all marked up. North Texas, Texas for return number three. Let's see who we have in here. We've got an index card that is unsigned, and we've got, looks like a manager card of Jackie Moore. Jackie Moore for the set with a tiny little signature there. Tiny little signature, very reminiscent of Tony La Russa, who also has a tiny little signature and was also a former A's manager. He did not have a full season in 83. He took over pretty late for Steve Boros, who got fired after he replaced Billy Martin, but he did get a pretty cool update card out of it. 84 tops traded, I think it was called, but really it was just kind of an update set, which is what the traded set eventually ended up being called as update. So yeah, I think it was card like number one or two of the update set, Jackie Moore, and he did manage all of 1985, got another sweet 85 tops card out of the deal. Pretty cool. Went 77 and 85. He did play professional ball. He played for the Tigers back in 1965, 53 at bats, five hits. Not very good. That's a .094 average in case you were wondering... And he, from 1970 all the way to 2013, was involved in baseball, usually as a coach, and of course that short stint as manager with the A's. Let's move on, guys, to our next return. All right, gang, next return from Santa Clarita, California. Not many cards in here. We got our index cards back, our protective index cards. They are going to be protecting the card of Ron Say. Ron Say. There we go. 1984 Tops card signed for the set. 17 year career. 12 of those with the Dodgers, including almost nine years with legendary infielders Garvey, Lopes, and Russell. Almost nine years together. That was quite an infield. And my. 
don't know what's going on with my focus, but there you guys go. There's the information. He now goes through JD Legends for 15 bucks. I do believe it is. So I did get him for free a few times. He is now charging through JD Legends. It obviously worked, as you see the proof of the results here in this video. Six-time All-Star, 81 World Series champ, including being the MVP of that World Series. Awesome return from Ron Say, another one for the set. Let's move on now to our next return. All right, gang, our fifth and final return comes to us from the Atlanta metro area. Let's see who we have for our final return of the day. We've got a signature on an index card. Our first one today, and we've got Scott Fletcher. Scott Fletcher also with the John 316 inscription. A very sloppily written John. But 316 is quite legible, and boy, this is the Chris, you're going to kill the hobby return of the day. Six cards I had him sign. What was I thinking? Does my greed know no bounds? Scott Fletcher, nice little career. Drafted in the first round like three different times. Finally with the Cubs, sixth overall in 1978. Was an infielder, played pretty much everywhere on the infield. Played six seasons with the White Sox, four with the Texas Rangers. There is his information. Awesome return from Scott Fletcher. Fletch lives, my friends, and, and Fletch lives in my on my desk right now, right there. And that is it for another Through the Mail Monday. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I do this every single Monday. Would love to have you along for the ride. And uh, we'll see what next week brings as we do another Through the Mail Monday, next Monday. Probably that's going to happen unless something crazy happens. And given the last few months of my life, you never know. So, there you guys go. In uh, On my way home from Cabo San Lucas right now, actually, as you guys are watching this, I am on a plane, probably. Had a nice weekend at one of those all-inclusive resorts. Kind of won a little trip. Won a trip back in, like, November, I think, or last year. We didn't even know we were entered. Our sales rep said we were entered because we had increased sales year over year for our business. And I'm like, okay, sweet. So, I guess as, the more money you spend with them, the more entries you get. So, we had a lot of entries. And we won this trip to uh, the Dominican Republic. Uh, this is one of the Hyatt uh, properties over there. Really nice. We were really excited about it. Uh, we were supposed to go the last weekend of the year, actually. The, the, the last weekend of the uh, baseball year. The Mets were playing the Braves. And we had a one-day layover in Atlanta. They, they split up the travel for us, so we wouldn't have to travel all in one day. Uh, so I think we came in on a Saturday morning or afternoon to Atlanta and uh, we could have hit the Mets Braves game that Saturday night of course the Mets got swept and it would have been a brutal trip to go and see the, the Braves you know piss away the division like they did but that was the plan we were going to do that they were going to put us up in a hotel at the airport it was going to be super cool and then on that Sunday we were going to fly the rest of the way to the DR and of course that weekend uh, or the weekend before, I think, the hurricane hit and literally hit like the resort head on in the DR. So the trip was canceled, basically postponed. And they're like, well, we're going to, you know, we're going to try to find a replacement trip for you that, you know, is the quality of this trip. And it was a pretty cool resort. I mean, uh, no kids. It was, a, it was an adult resort. Uh, we were looking at videos, checking out the food options. We were getting all excited. I guess for an all-inclusive, they had they had pretty good food options. So we were all excited about it. And some sun, get some sun and stuff. But uh, that didn't happen because of that hurricane. So that bummed me out. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? It would have been nice to get this trip out of the way because my line of business, you just you never know when you're going to have time set aside to do stuff like that. So we had well, four or five days set aside to do that. But, uh, uh, you know, lo and behold, fast forward to February. And the trip is uh, February 16th to the 20th. Uh, so uh, it's going to be one of those deals where, like, oh, my father passed away. And I was... On January 30th, and I was, you know, for two weeks, you know, me or me and my mom were, I was running her round trip three hours back and forth to the hospital to see him, uh, you know, and then he was in hospice for four days, and then he passed, and then we had all this stuff going on, of course, with my mother, she's turning 80 on the 18th, so it's like, eh, can she, can she live by herself, she wants to, she's, she's kind of spry and still with it, and it's still... Maybe watching this right now. That's how with it she is. She's a she's a YouTuber. She loves going on YouTube and uh, watching videos. So pretty cool. But uh, she is like four hours away from the nearest kid, which is me. So that's not good if anything happens or she needs any help. So we're trying to relocate her. And then 
Also, we had some issues with the house, and we we realized the plumbing was uh, not up to par, basically, and it needed our, our septic tank replaced. Oh, it just it just opened up a can of worms. I was digging under a house, uh, you know, last week trying to figure out where our uh, our our tank was and septic tank was and all this stuff. And she's in the middle. She's like, she's twenty minutes from town. She's she's in the middle of nowhere in in Prineville, so uh, way up by the reservoir there. So. Oh my God! Just stress after stress, and of course this trip is coming up, and you know this is the this is not exactly what I would consider a uh, a relaxing vacation. Uh, this has just been totally stressed out trying to figure out what to do with my mom, um, but she's leaving. Uh, she's leaving to go visit my sister. My sister was out during, so she's gonna visit my sister uh, for a few weeks, and I'm gonna make make some room here for my mom here and bring some other stuff over. So I got all. Well, uh, you know, I'm sure you, I'm not the only person to have to deal with this kind of stuff. So uh, it's just one of those those part things, those things that's, that life throws at you every now and then. You just got to deal with it as best you can. So pretty excited to be spending some more time with my mom and having her be closer to me, of course. Um, totally, uh, totally, totally different adjustment to having her li- like live in our house. So that's going to be strange. And then, of course, we got the other house to deal with still, too. So all sorts of stuff going on in the, the life of Chris Cards. Um, hopefully this vacation was good. I think our stores are set and they'll be fine. Um, but just, just stressed, just stressed about everything. So just a, just a crappy year so far. So baseball's coming up soon. I didn't, I, I sent Tommy Edmond. I sent Tommy Edmond on February 4th and that's it. I'm not going to get to any spring training stuff this year. Like I think I teased that a few videos ago. I'm like, I'm going to, to tell you who I'm gonna do for spring training because I send most of the stuff out in March and um I try to hit them early in spring training because I think that's when they're most uh they're they're most active as far as uh, there's some more downtime and uh, they're a little bit more go get them attitude towards fans and stuff and you know before the fans at spring training beat them down and they get tired of the whole thing and then we just get start getting our letters tossed or whatever happens to them so I'm not gonna send any um. I'm not gonna send it. I just I don't I don't have time, unfortunately. Um, I'm not gonna send any spring training. There's so many private signings I need to get right now. Actually, there's some pretty good pricing on some of these private signings, and I just I can't even do that. So I can pretty much do it through the mail Monday. You know, once a week it takes about an hour. And uh, as far as that's concerned, I uh, you know I feel like I'm I'm letting you guys down as far as my spring training stuff uh, this year. So I apologize for that. But I gave you all my excuses why I couldn't you know why i'm just not up to it right now so i was sending i think i sent 100 requests so far in 2023 and i haven't sent any in like maybe a month now so (laughs) i was uh i was really heading towards uh trying to send out a bunch of stuff this year but uh life life has a way of throwing uh, a fastball at your head every now and then so that's that's what i'm doing i'm ducking ducking out of the way trying to uh trying to hang in there so uh that's that's all uh, and i'm sick oh yeah by the way if you can't tell i'm like deathly ill like you got to be kidding me i was sick like what two months ago i had the same sickness i had the same cough runny nose just like the like a cold you know i took two covid tests last time and i was negative so like all right well i'm not taking any covid tests this time i i feel i think i have the same thing i had last time and it's just a grating cough and you know, it gets worse at night, so I, I decided to start sleep sitting up, and sitting up makes it me not cough so much. So I've been basically sitting up in bed trying to sleep. So, and um, uh, I've been just trying to kill it with medicine these last three days, four days. It's been really bad, and uh, I leave, you know, a peek behind the curtain. I leave tomorrow for the trip. I leave in like nine hours on the flight. It's uh, I'm filming this on a, uh, a Wednesday night, so yeah, I got that going on in the morning, and. Uh, I think I'm feeling a little better. I've been taking a lot of stuff. I've been double dose. I just I'm taking I'm taking like Dayquil and like this stuff from this Mucinex stuff. I'm taking all sorts of stuff. So I'm just throwing everything I can at it, trying to get rid of it. Cause you know I'm gonna go to you know, I want I want some free watered down you know resort drinks and uh, and some food and I want to have a good time and, and get some sun and uh try to not get kidnapped and held ransom by some mexican drug cartel so those are my those are my goals for the weekend and i'll let you guys know next monday how it goes i'll maybe even show you a few pictures and whatnot maybe i'll even throw a few on uh, instagram since i'm not sending any of my hot pics of uh, a spring training send-offs i'll send you uh 
I'll send you uh, I'll send you some you know Chris and his wife at the resort in Mexico and uh, let you know how that goes. Um, uh, what else was I gonna say? Uh, that's about it. Uh, nothing nothing interesting to say. I'm just bitching a lot. Sorry about that. You guys could turn this video off already. I'm sure you guys know that it's a free country. It's a free. You've got free will. You guys can just stop listening to me at any time. Um, what I was gonna say something else. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and get out of here. Uh, hope everyone out there has a great week. See ya.